This news update is brought to you by. with Barbados's largest and fastest 4G network. Activate any Lime prepaid or postpaid mobile plan today. This is the Barbados Today evening update for Thursday, October the 30th, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. A warm welcome to you. After a tense morning, operations at the Barbados Community College were back on track this evening. But the NUPW is adamant it will not give up its fight for workers at the campus to get a fair deal. Earlier today, NUPW General Secretary Dennis Clark clashed with BCC Principal Dr. Gladstone Best after he was initially blocked from entering the compound to meet with union members. The two sides are at odds over new employment contracts being offered to part-time tutors. NUPW and a BCC shop steward Margot Bannister warns that management's hardline stance is hurting students and the institution. They don't want to negotiate the contractual agreement. They, it, is, it is take it or leave it. But if staff pulls out, there is no way that this institution will be able to survive and the students will suffer severely. We already started the, we already started, um, the classes on the back foot, meaning that we started late. In battle school principal Jeff Brooms clears the air about issues surrounding his management style. Teachers at the Parkinson Memorial Secondary School are at loggerheads with Brooms over a number of grievances. Chief among them, they say, is the manner in which he runs the affairs of the Pine Institution. But addressing the press conference this morning, the principal said that he had no reports from any member of staff on such an issue. No teacher has ever raised anything but management style, leadership style with me. Ever. I know their teachers have objected to some policy positions they've arrived at. Some teachers, even, even when, we did, when we did the um, restructured curriculum um, and customized curriculum for the school, some teachers have objected to the fact that I did not come back to a plenary, which I, I did not make much, much sense. You gave everyone an opportunity to say something. They have all the heads department. You win your buzz head department, then come back to plenary to destroy everything. I didn't think so. The people had that objection. And they, there's nothing wrong with that. Brooms who made it clear that his educational values will not be compromised on any issue also raised concerns about the manner in which teachers left their duties on Tuesday to engage the Barbados Union of Teachers in talks. I know the 61 point and a half teachers, 22 and a half were at school, on, and I know about four or five years sick leave. And I, 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 I support, just to be clear, I support any teacher whose union calls them to make it going. What I did not like about what happened Tuesday, they never informed me. Neither the teachers nor the union ever told me any meeting. I had never heard of it. I, indeed, I was at, and you, I was at Sajid Corps, and my secretary told me that something came in at 9.20 in the morning for a 9.30 meeting. I think that's un unacceptable. That is not correct. In other news now, a St. Michael family is desperately hoping for a reprieve after being given three days to vacate the land they have been renting for more than 50 years now. Hallam Stout of Bell Gully tells Barbados today the family of five stands to lose a three and a two bedroom home if they cannot find an alternative location. He explained that after the death of the landlord, the landlord's daughter asked them to move off the property. The matter has been in court for more than two years. Stout tells Barbados today they still have nowhere to go, with less than 24 hours to go before the houses are demolished. I received the information from Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I think it was Tuesday, 12 o'clock, that was Friday. Well, at first he was saying Thursday. But then, when we spoke to him, he then, like, understand where he was coming from. I see he didn't give us the extra day and say, for the morning at 6 o'clock, they will come to demolish the houses that we have roughly two days to see if we could, we could 
move out every time, move garages. If we can get carpenters to actually take down the houses ourselves, to move the houses and everything, mm -hmm. that's what he told us. St. Michael East MP Trevor Prescott has pledged to assist the family. Independent Senator Tony Marshall makes a case for commercial banks to introduce reverse mortgages. The veteran banker contends that banks owe a lot to Barbadians for their success and it's time they give back to the society through facilities such as reverse mortgages. Marshall lamented that banks continue to make large profits by issuing small interest rates on savings while lending that same money with high repayment charges. He explained that reverse mortgages are restricted to persons within retirement age who may have valuable property but no cash with which to maintain their standard of living. The banking industry has been built on the backs of our four parents. So why should they not want to introduce reverse mortgages here. They are available in the USA, Canada, Holland, New Zealand, Australia, just to name a few, there are others. They are available, but they're not available here. It is regional and international news after this short break. The Barbados Food and Wine and Rum Festival, November 20th to 23rd. Taste the culinary delights of top local and international chefs like Marcus Samuelson, Anne Burrell, Tyler Florence, Roger Mooking, Michael Hines, Dane Sadler, Daphne's Restaurant, and more. The Barbados Food and Wine and Rum Festival, 5th edition, November 20th to 23rd. Visit foodwinerum.com or contact Premier Event Services, Inc. at 435-0670. Get your tickets now at Wine World or Ticket on the regional scene now, rescue teams were today still searching the Caribbean Sea for the body of one of two pilots whose plane crashed late yesterday. The body of the other pilot was recovered after the small cargo plane they were operating crashed shortly after takeoff three miles off the runway at Dutch St. Martin. The U.S.-based twin-engine aircraft was en route to Puerto Rico when the deadly incident occurred. It is still unclear what caused the airplane to crash. Further afield, the president of Burkina Faso imposes a state of emergency as violent protests escalate. After angry crowds set the nation's parliament ablaze this morning, the president responded by dissolving government and parliament. He has also declared an overnight curfew. Today's unrest forced employees to abandon a vote which would have cleared the way for the president to seek re-election in office. The protesters are adamant the president's 27-year rule must end. That's where we end our Barbados Today evening update. We will be back again in the morning. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper and email updates or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Also tune in to Channel 101 on Lime TV to get all the latest news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a wonderful evening. This news update is brought to you by... Chilling
everything when we're friends and enjoying feeling happy once again Woo, when we have been fun you don't know how i like it you don't know how i like it feeling happy all that we as one you don't know how i like it get happy with barbados's largest and fastest 4g network Activate any Lime prepaid or postpaid mobile plan today 